Well, hello, welcome to the Max. Uh, today we're actually going to be doing what we were supposed to do last vlog was get this silage tarp right here on this uh, pig uh, bedding that they have laid some good fertilizer, tilled it up with their nose. Uh, we will be putting some some uh, topsoil and things like that to even it out, but we just need to get it covered so nothing else grows back. We've got a perfect uh, rectangle, so we've already cut the uh, silage tarp, so we're going to just roll it out. And then it is potato planting day. Both of those things we did not get to last vlog, so we're going to knock both of those out today. care if you don't have wind when you're laying a silage tarp somehow it's always gonna be windy it's never not windy now it's funny because we never have wind but when i'm laying a silage tarp golly if it ain't gonna be windy but we got it laid all we gotta do is actually secure it with uh something we've got some boards we've got some multi posts we got new sandbags so we're gonna go and get that done and then we will start on some potatoes Okay, so we've got this finished. You see, this is another 1,200 square foot worth of garden. Uh, not a big garden. We didn't care for it to be. We just made it this year, of course, with the pigs. So the pigs have been on all this. Now, they've been on that too, but that's where we're going to plant some just cover crop, buckwheat, uh, and some other things for the bees to feed off of. As you see, the bees are right there by Old Bessie. So, of course, we have onions growing. I'll show you some updates there, some carrots. So we have this bed here. This bed here. you like that? I don't know why I say this bed here. Anyway, uh, that bed, and then we have that bed right there where some of the perennials are. Then we have these three beds here. And then we, have, of course, have the onion and garlic bed back there too. Now these, of course, we will put more broccoli and more lettuce in um, in just a few weeks. These are still putting off broccoli. These are stem broccoli, which we didn't want. We wanted more head broccoli, kind of like this one. But still, we've got some, and we're going to let it grow and, and take it. Some of it's bolting, but that's okay. Some of it's just uh, putting up flower heads. We just keep taking them off. So we've got this. We're going to let these finish out. Then we'll replant these. We've got some cabbages that are still growing. So, you know, everything's going good. Let us there. But all these beds here need to be planted uh, with potatoes. So we're going to plant mostly the red Pontiacs because that's what grows good here. But we are going to try some Ugon Golds. We are going to try a few more varieties, and we'll go over those. We'll plant ours basically, um, we usually try to go a good six to seven, eight inches into the ground and they cover it up really well. Make sure your eyes are up and then uh, we'll separate them with about a foot and a half or so, maybe a little bit more, but we, we plant them a little closer because they're in a tight area and we want to grow as many as we can because our kids love potatoes and we do too. And if you cook them right, they're not that unhealthy for you, especially if you're growing them organically. Okay, so we've got some non-GMO potatoes here, some red uh, Norlands and red Pontiacs, and then some Yukon Golds we're going to try. We've never had real good success with those, but we, we did grow them last year. This is what we had last year. Some of them ruined, some of them are okay still. You see they're putting off heads. You want to plant that with facing up and basically any of the knots on, on below. But anytime you have those already growing, that's good. So we're going to try to plant some of these too and see if we can get some bigger harvest this year. We had a decent harvest last year, but they were just small potatoes. So we're going to... Um, try to get all these planted and all those raised beds there and that one over there by um, by the onions 
All right, so when we plant potatoes, we take our rake, very loose soil. Remember, you want very loose soil, uh, very good balanced soil, but looser soil, or that's what we grow in when we grow up potatoes. But to know where we want, we just simply go in and do just like we do with the onions and just place those holes with the back side of the rake. And not that you're gonna go in that one little hole, but it does kind of help you stay on balance, know where you're supposed to go with the, uh, the potatoes. It helps you kind of see your distance if you need to move them out a little bit more, things like that. It also helps you keep up with uh, how many potatoes you're actually planting. So that's exactly how we plant them. You see, we just make holes like this, go on through, and then we'll just take a little shovel, dig them out a little bit more, stick the potatoes in, cover it up, and man, you've got you know another 50 to 100 potatoes planted in a four by eight bed. And you think we may have 250, 300 potatoes planted, uh, tubers planted. So that's that's some that's some good numbers. So we're hoping to multiply that this year with the extra big beds, and uh, really have a great potato harvest. So let's go ahead and get this stuck, and then uh, we'll get them planted. Okay, so we've got our holes we've got our holes basically uh done so again what we'll do is you always want to make sure that the potato if you've got eyes on them that go up now you can cut these potatoes in half and split your eyes and basically use a half on each side and basically it helps you kind of get a few more tubers in the ground versus using just whole ones now i have extra so i'm gonna go ahead and just plant the whole uh, actual potato as my tuber seed and basically what i do is i take it just go down with it and again i'm in very loose soil i go about four to five to six inches below the top soil set so puts it about six to eight inches deep and i'm done and it covers up automatically because it's loose soil when i push it down it helps kind of pack it in good keeps it warm through these cool cool days because a potato likes the coolness so we got a lot more to do so let's go Remember, you want your potatoes in a, a good loose soil, but also you want it in a well-draining soil. You don't want those rooted vegetables, any rooted vegetables, just to sit in any kind of water, because pretty much you're gonna have a moldy uh, plant and potato, and it's gonna waterlog and never really come to fruition. So you wanna make sure that you're getting good moisture, good wetness, good coolness, but you don't wanna sit in water. You want it draining really well. Uh, I use the peat moss that helps kind of hold the water in. Compost helps hold the water in but the topsoil helps it kind of go on through in the sand. So that's why we choose to use this kind of mix when we put it in here. All right, bed one is planted. We're actually not gonna have enough tubers to probably plant those back there. We might use that for lettuce and broccoli. What do you think? I just walked out here. What do you think? I had was forced to come out because Jennings wanted to come out. He's been thrown down. <laughs> been crazy. Hey, we just washed his shoes, so you might need to stay in your arms. Huh? Last time he was out here, he's played in that puddle right there yeah he did that's why he's not getting down <laughs> but he brought his two shoes to me and threw them at me now these are the potatoes these are the, the pontiac grits these are the ones that are so native here that a lot of people grow we did plant all yukon golds and also the ones from last year the tubers we had there so we're gonna do the the pontiac over here and get those planted and then we'll kind of figure out i'll let misty decide what she wants to go over there we have tons of lettuce and broccoli in the greenhouse so we may just utilize those bits right there for it. They ain't getting out no more. Would y'all see we moved them as we talked earlier. Look how good this looks. And they've already ate. This was the last row of turnips right there. And look, there's just grass left. They've already ate every bit of the roots and the turnips that were there. 
so they're working on it and working on these other beds these were the pea beds and actually all the the chop and drop that we left they've ate it other than just a little back there so they are really doing a well a good good a very good job they're pretty when they're just walking around eating grass huh? i'm just glad we have the electric energizer on them All right, we are done with planting. You see Aiden's doing some chores, getting ready to finish up the day. We've got uh, all our Yukon Golds and our older potatoes from our tubers. And then we've got the red Pontiacs over here. We actually did not have enough potatoes to finish off these. So we will have to go back and get some more, but we do have a little time left. So we're gonna go ahead and plant some more broccoli and lettuce in this back bed back here. So hope you're enjoying our channel. Are you enjoying our channel? I got so-so. So-so, I guess we're just so-so. But I hope you're enjoying our channel. If you are, subscribe, tell your friends about us, share us, and uh, come hang with the Max. There's always something fun happening here on the farm. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and uh, happy homesteading, y'all.